So we are on the Lang stand for the second world premiere. This has never been seen before, but it's been shown here at the a and exhibition. So Tobias, what are we looking at? We are looking at a pneumatic stemming unit and pneumatic vices that will help customers in the future to automate their manufacturing processes. So why have you took the decision to make such units? Was this just another product for your portfolio or was this customer led? Indeed, customers asked for it. Our philosophy has been so far a pallet handling. That means we clamp the workpiece manually by hand in a pallet or a vise and that has been loaded from a robot into the machine tool. But we have been asked from customers to do some part handling. That's to say that a robot will stamp the part and afterwards place it in the vise. So if the robot's doing the stamping and the robot's doing the clamping, Mm -hmm. What is it for the operator to do? Because everything's been done for him. There are even more important tasks in a workshop to do. Do some measuring quality management. So they don't have to care about a simple task like clamping a workpiece. They can look after the tools, about the surroundings of the machine tool, programming. So what happens if I've got a part? If, if this has been set by the road, what happens if I've got a part that's slightly too big or slightly too small? Yeah, It will also be adjusted automatically. There is an electric attachment to it so the robot can automatically adjust the stemming range according to the to the part size so there's still no human intervention even when mm. the stamping unit or this side of the table vice need to be changed so what's the difference between the vice i have on my side and the vice you have on your yeah. side of the table basically the flexibility on my side you can see a classical pneumatic vice if you want to change the clamping range here you have to move the jaws manually so that means it's usually a vice for bigger batches where you don't have to change the clamping range that often. On your side, the flexible vice, the macro flex vice, it can be adjusted, the clamping range can be adjusted by the robot. That's to say you can clamp five parts with 100 millimeters, afterwards five other parts with 80 millimeters, for instance, fully automatically by the robot. Now obviously these are new to A and B. Mm -hmm. So what have the, your customers and the visitors been talking to you about these, are they excited? Are they, are we looking at orders after a &B? Definitely, <laughs> but they have to wait a bit. <laughs> Launching will be spring next year, most likely, but definitely some orders will flying in, I'm pretty sure. And then obviously do these vices and the stamping unit all fit to the normal standard Lang base plates? Absolutely, yes. It's our standard zero point base plates. It's the regular stamping unit, so it's fully compatible with the existing material. So last question before I finish, mm -hmm. how excited are you to actually get these out into the real world, into customers' hands? Really excited because as I said, we have been constantly asked by customers for years and finally we have something to satisfy them.